Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're checking out the Ampero Mini by Hot Tone. And this tiny little guitar pedal basically houses a ton of effects. It's an amp modeler. There's a looper in here and you can also use this as an audio interface and all that good stuff. And just look at how tiny this thing is. It's so awesome. The Hot Tone products are pretty cool. I recently did a video on the Impero 2 Stomp as well, which you can watch up here or down here if you're interested, by the way. And just for a size comparison, here is the Impero 2 Stomp. And as you can see, the Mini is quite a bit smaller than the Impero 2 Stomp. So that's great. As you can see, this little guy is quite compact and it will fit on any pedal board, basically. And of course, you can easily put this in your gig bag to take it along with you. So it's very portable as well. It has many sounds in it though, 199 effects to be precise, various amp models, cab models, and you can even load your own impulse responses into this. And just like the Impero 2 Stomp, the Impero Mini has a touchscreen over here, so that's also a very nice touch. Anyway, I will tell you more about this pedal, but since this pedal is so tiny, I wanted to try to get some huge tones out of it. So I did that with my ESP L3 SC608B 8-string baritone and I got some pretty huge tones. Let's take a listen. That sounded pretty huge indeed. Quite impressive how big of a sound a pedal of this size can create. Very cool. I will go over the settings of that preset in a minute, but first let's dive a little bit deeper and explore what this pedal has to offer. And by the way, a disclaimer up front, this is a sponsored video, but as always, all thoughts and opinions are 100% my own. So in terms of the user interface on the hardware, it's a very simple pedal. We've got these two foot switches along with the touchscreen over here. And a neat little extra thing that you get with these Imperos are these plastic things that you can put on top of the foot switches and that makes the pedal real estate basically a little bit bigger, which I do prefer. So that's a nice sort of free extra touch that you get with these pedals as well as with the Impero 2 Stomp. Of course, the user interface on the touchscreen allows you to edit anything that this pedal can do right on the pedal. So that's why it doesn't need all these extra knobs on the front. You can do everything on the touchscreen and I really enjoy working with the touchscreen. I think that the hot tone touchscreens are very nice and they are a breeze to work with. It's just easy to use and you can do everything quite quickly. So that's cool. And this little box is quite sturdy as well. It does have a metal housing, so it will take a beating, which is nice and also great for your pedal board. It does seem to be well put together for sure. So that's great. On the back of the pedal, we have an expression pedal or control pedal input, you know, for controlling your effects and for controlling the wah and stuff like that. And then the input, which works for a variety of instruments, electric, acoustic, and bass guitar. And then we've got a stereo output jack. So it's just one jack, but it is stereo. If you want to hook this pedal up to another stereo unit, 
you're gonna have to buy a cable that goes from one stereo jack to two mono jacks. But that works fine, I got one myself from Amazon and it works like a breeze. Then we've got the volume control over here for controlling the volume of the unit, as well as the USB port. We've also got a phone's output and an aux in. The pedal requires nine volts DC, 500 milliampers, and you also get a power adapter with the unit, so that's also cool. So since this pedal works at nine volts, it's a very flexible pedal for various pedal board setups. Oh, and did I mention that this pedal also comes in a bunch of very cool colors? Oranges, and I think that this one is a sort of lime green, very cool. And it's also worth mentioning that the price on these things is very attractive. The current price is only $229, which is a quite attractive price considering what this thing has to offer. Now you can hook this thing up to your computer and then control the entire unit with the PC editing app, which is also great. It's especially handy for when you're creating your presets and tweaking all the settings and stuff. Do keep in mind that this is a USB-C port though, so you're gonna need to use the right cable. But this pedal does come with a little USB cable. And of course, you can also load in your own impulse responses into this unit, up to 10, so that's not a lot but it's just a great thing that this thing allows you to upload your own IRs in the first place. Something else that's really cool is that you can use the Impero Mini as your audio interface, just as the Impero 2 Stomp does. So if you wanna start recording yourself or if you're a beginner, for example, this can be a great feature for you. Or if you're a traveling musician and you travel with your laptop and you need an audio interface that also offers a lot of sounds in it, it's also great. Just hook it up to your laptop or your computer and you're good to go, basically. Do keep in mind that the sample rate is fixed at 44.1 kilohertz. The pedal also has a built-in looper with a bunch of features. Uh, the loop time goes up to 100 seconds in mono and in stereo, 50 seconds. This pedal also has a built-in drum machine, so that's pretty cool as well. It's great for practicing or jamming along, and there's also a metronome and electronic beats. I think up to 100 different types of beats. Just for fun, let's take a quick listen to some of the beats that this thing has to offer. Check it out. Cool, so that's great for practicing and for jamming along and stuff like that, really cool. Now the Impero Mini holds 99 factory presets as well as 99 editable user presets. In terms of the signal chain, you can use up to nine effects simultaneously. There are three effects blocks which you can really customize. It has boosts, compressors, fuzzes, modulation effects, filters, and all that good stuff. And then we also have a noise gate block, an amp block, of course, a cap block, an EQ block, a delay block, and a reverb block. And of course you can move all the effects around and really customize the flow of your signal chain. And as I said before, there are 199 effects in this little pedal, so that's quite a lot. Not all of the effects and features of the Impero 2 Stomp are in here, but a very good selection. In terms of amp models, there are various clean, crunch, high gain, bass and acoustic amplifiers in here. There's also a great list of built-in cabinets and you can choose your mic and move the mics around and all that stuff. So really customize your tone along with the high and low cuts as well. And like I said, you can also load in your own impulse responses. So that's also great. As you might know, I'm not a heavy effects user, but I did try a lot of the built-in effects just for fun. And to be honest, they did sound great, most of them. Something else that's cool is that you can also customize the color of the user interface on the touchscreen. I have it set to green currently, but you can also go orange, brown, or any color that you might like. So that's a nice touch as well that you don't really see on a lot of other similar units. 
And on the home screen, you've also got an in and output level meter. So that's also a cool touch. So wow, that's a lot of things that this little pedal can do. And it can do even more than that. If you want to know everything that this pedal can do, I really recommend checking out the user manual online. Now about the tones from the demo. So the guitar that I used was my ESP LTD Stefan Carpenter 8 string, the SC608B. It's a baritone guitar with the Fishman Fluence Steph Modern pickups in it. Let's just take a quick listen to the isolated guitars, which I did double track one on the left side and the other on the right side. Check it out. All right, so that's a great and modern eight string tone with plenty of clarity and plenty of saturation and a great overall frequency response. And the preset was very simple. For the effects two block, I used the FET boost, which is a great boost for metal to tighten things up and to add gain, you know, your typical modern metal boost basically. And that goes into the amp block with the Rector Dual M amp, which is based on a Mesa Boogie dual rectifier, of course. I really like the sound of this amp model. And then after that, I have the noise gate block on with the fast gate for tightening up things and to make it less noisy. And in the cab block, I loaded up an Ownhammer impulse response, which is the high gain mic mix from the low tuned essentials, a great sounding IR pack for metal basically. So yeah, as you can see a very simple preset. So it does take very little effort to get some huge tones out of this very little box, really cool and really impressive as well. So that was the Hot Tone Amparo Mini, a really cool pedal that I really enjoy working with and I highly recommend checking it out, especially for the price. It's very attractively priced indeed. Of course, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this little pedal and also hit the like and subscribe buttons down below as that really helps the channel out. I'd usually appreciate that. And of course, you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.